okay welcome back to the third part of this tutorial so what I want to do now is let's exit out clear and exit out of the system to take care of this bell button here transcript and to prevent the user from entering characters in here right so exit and let's come right here the first thing is to take care of this okay let's prevent the user from entering any character in here so what we do is we're going to select it individually right click and let's go to event let's go on to key key type all right right in there we enter as follows so that's it that will prevent the end user from entering whatever character that is not numericness of course that's missing there okay I'm gonna do the same thing here okay now come down here be the same thing for that of biology key press all i see here is key press too okay i guess you guys get the whole idea so i'm just going to speed that up now Okay, all of those components now have the lines of code that will prevent the end user from entering anyhow data. Okay, so maybe we we'll run it. We we'll compile and run. Right there, guys. So, if we try to enter whatever value in there. That's it, it's not allowing that. Okay, but we can enter numbers. Yeah, that is correct. So we'll click on that, and there we go. So, what we need to now do is to enter, we need to write another lines of to take care of this of the transcript we have up there so to do that we exit from here okay and let's come back in here okay as for the transcript I'm going to right click on the button transcript and let's go to event action action perform right here in the first place I need the full name of the transcript the name is TST trans, transcript dot append right there okay and here I like to enter as follows that will be the heading student result recording system okay let's tab no oh, next line let's add another line here and this one is just going to be a break or well, maybe let's Let's put it right down underneath here. Press enter. Okay. Let's add more. Now the next thing is let's say next line again. Now we add another one. This is going to be that'll be math. Let's put a tab there. 
tab and then tab tab okay and out here we say plus j txt as dot I'll be get text. So whatever is in there. Alright. Now let's add another one. This is going to be plus. Then the next one is going to be English. And out here plus JTXT English. Let's get whatever I see in there. Right. And after that, what do we have? Okay, we have biology. Just change the name around. The next one is chemistry. Let's get that data. Copy that. And come right in here. Paste that right there. And change this to chemistry. Right. And the next is physics. Change that to physics and in here enter physics. And next add mass. And here is add mass. Finally, then okay, that's business. Copy that. Come right down here. Change that to business. And here, business. Okay. So that's the results. But we're going to also need average and so on on the ranking so copy all of that paste that there come right down here there is I think average let's see which one comes first total score average and ranking we have total total score 
to UFC total. Score. And this one will be average. We have average here. Yeah. Now ranking. Ranking right here. There. Okay, let's try it out. Save compile and let's run it now. Alright, so enter student ID number, student name, Paul Oman, course code, that's fine, mathematics, I'm very good at it, English, very good, biology, computing, chemistry, physics, Admins business there check out the ranking that's it that's fine okay let's see if this works yeah that works but it's supposed okay I'm missing out one or two components there I'm meant to go to next line let's come back here all right you see right here I was meant to enter next line that's an arrow okay come in here now maybe we just enter next line here enter it right here okay let's try it again and run let's see enter all of the information student ID name all women that is fine mathematics English IT or computing, chemistry, physics, hard maths, business, and there. Okay, transcript. That is it, guys. See that? That's beautiful. Okay, so with that, guys, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial. But before that, what I intend to do is let me enhance this interface, maybe just make it come right in here and just change the font size to something a little bit bigger. Yeah, 18. Let's see. Let's see what we happen with 18. Okay, guys, let's give it a full run now. Okay, I'm going to enter student number there and student name. Let's say Paul Omen and in here or right here. See if I try to enter character that's zero, nothing will happen. Okay, English the same thing. Biology. IT. Chemistry. Physics. Add mass and business. See that there. See how that works. So we can close that. Okay. Click on ranking and every 
the total is display average display and the ranking display as first class honors and here let's see this transcript right there guys that's this transcript and you can also add other, other student details in there let's say you want to add another student and change the name maybe to Grace Jones the same course code Grace Jones not so good in mathematics English okay average oh that's more than average that's good biology IT chemistry and add mass business she's very good at business right she's a two one candidate okay okay what is left for us to do now is to take care of these delete so I'm going to show you how the delete works so let's exit right in here just right click select event action action perform and right here from here down here those are the lines of code for the delete okay so what will happen is when you select a row that rule will be deleted so let's run it and you see what I'm talking about let's enter some student details in there and the name happens to be Ola Ola Kemi and that's the course code for Kemi Physics, Admins, and Business. There. So we we'll click on that. Supposing we mistakenly add more than one, we can always click on to and delete. You see how that works? Supposing I click and did not select anything, that is what you get. Okay, that is how that delete work. Alright guys. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. You all have a nice day now. Please do subscribe. Bye for now.